In this video, we will talk about the distance between two strings. You might be wondering after the previous video, do we need our data to be numeric all the times? What happens if our data contains just text? In this video, we'll talk about distance measures for strings. Hi, I'm Dr. Shahriyar Hossain. Let us talk more about distance between two strings. When you have strings or text in your data, for example, tweets or small text messages, or codes sent over the network, you can compute the distance between two strings. You are probably confused at this point because I am talking about distance between strings. I am not calling them dissimilarity. My students in my data mining class at this point generally wonder how will strings form the Euclidean space? What are the dimensions? Well, um, characters or letters may form the dimensions, but in that case, what would be the value uh, for each character in a string? For example, if you have these five strings, how would the space look like? There is no great answer for this question. A reasonable answer is, if we have streams of characters, we do not have a reasonable way to visualize the Euclidean space. But that does not mean that the Euclidean space does not exist for those strings. If you can come up with a distance measure that satisfies the four metric properties we discussed before, then you have a Euclidean space. Yes, you cannot see the space. You cannot visualize it. You do not know how many dimensions are there in that space. Still, you have the space if you have a distance measure. Today, we are discussing two distance measures for strings. One measure is called Hamming distance and the other one is called Edit distance. Both these distances are real distances. That means they satisfy the metric properties or axioms of distance. Let us discuss Hamming distance between two strings first. Hamming distance between two strings is the number of positions where the strings have different letters. Obviously, to be able to compute Hamming distance between two strings, the strings must have same length. Yes, it is a limitation of Hamming distance that two strings must have the same length. As an example, consider that we are computing the distance between these two strings, apricot and every cup. The two strings are different in positions 2, 5, and 7. That is, they are different in three positions. Therefore, the Hamming distance between apricot and every cup is 3. Hamming distance is sometimes used to compute the distance between binary bit vectors of the same length. Sometimes binary streams are repeated during transmission to increase the reliability. If the original binary message and the repeated one have a non-zero Hamming distance, it is confirmed that some bits were corrupted during the transmission. Of course, if both the bits in the same position are changed to the same bit, then the Hamming distance will not be able to capture the corruption. Again, Hamming distance is a true distance measure, that is, it satisfies the four distance properties. Let us talk about edit distance now. Edit distance is widely used in comparing strings or computing distance between two strings. I should clarify that in this video, we will talk about the longest common subsequence based edit distance which allows two types of operations, delete and insert. 
There is another type of eddy distance commonly known as Levenstein distance. In Levenstein distance, edit is defined by three operations, delete, insert, and substitution. We are not discussing Levenstein distance today. We are discussing the longest common subsequence-based edit distance, which allows only two types of operations, delete and insert. Let us discuss how edit distance is computed. The edit distance between two strings refers to the minimum number of edits required to convert one string to the other. What do we mean by number of edits? Edit refers to one of the two tasks, delete or insert, as stated earlier. That is, the edit distance between two strings is the minimum number of delete and insert operations required to convert one string to the other. Please note that given an infinite number of edits, it is always possible to convert one string to another one. However, we are talking about the minimum number of edits. Consider that we have two strings S1 and S2, where S1 is X, Y, Z, M, N, and S2 is Y, Z, M, O, P, N. Unlike Hamming distance, you can compute distance between two strings for two different lengths using edit distance. Let us try to convert S1 to S2. We have S1 equals X, Y, Z, M, N. Delete X from S1. S1 is now Y, Z, M, N. Insert O in the fourth position. S1 now becomes Y, Z, M, O, N. Insert P in the fifth position. S1 now becomes Y, Z, M, O, P, N. Notice that S1 has become S2, which is Y, Z, M, O, P, N. To convert S1 to S2, we needed three edits among which one was a delete operation and two were insertions. We cannot convert S1 to S2 with any lesser than three edits. Therefore, the edit distance between XYZMN and YZMOPN is three. Edit distance is a true distance measure. Therefore, it holds all the four axioms required in a distance formula. As a result, edit distance between S1 and S2 is equal to the edit distance between S2 and S1. If you attempt to convert YZMOPN to XYZMN, you will see that you need a minimum of three edits. Please do it as an exercise. There is an alternative way to compute the edit distance. The alternative relies on the length of the longest common subsequence, which is termed as LCS. The formula is edit distance between S1 and S2 is equal to the length of S1 plus the length of S2 minus two times the length of the longest common subsequence between S1 and S2. S1 with two sidebars or S2 with two sidebars indicates the length of the corresponding string. The length of the longest common subsequence between S1 and S2 is illustrated by this. LCS refers to the longest common subsequence of letters that are present in both the strings from left to right. Let us take our example string S1 equals X, Y, Z, M, N and S2 equals Y, Z, M, O, P, N. Notice that the Y, Z, M part is present in both the strings from left to right. However, YZM is not the longest sequence that is present in both the strings 
from left to right. The longest sequence that is present in both the strings from left to right is YZMN. Note here that to be a subsequence, the subsequence need not be a contiguous substring. The subsequence may have other letters in the strings. For example, although YZMN is a substring in S1, YZMN does not appear as a substring in S2. In S2, YZM appears at the beginning of the string and N appears at the end. Still, YZMN is considered a subsequence of S2. That is, a substring is a subsequence, but a subsequence may not be a substring. The longest common subsequence between S1 and S2 is the subsequence YZMN. Edit distance between XYZMN and YZMOPN is equal to the length of XYZMN plus the length of YZMOPN minus twice the length of YZMN. Note that YZMN is the longest common subsequence between these two strings. The length of XYZMN is 5, the length of YZMOPN is 6, and of course the length of the longest common subsequence in this case is 4, so we have 5 plus 6 minus 2 times 4, which makes it 3. Notice that the LCS-based formula is giving us the same edit distance as we computed before for the given pair of strings. The LCS-based formula for edit distance is widely used because there are existing algorithms in literature to compute LCS. Hence, computing edit distance is not difficult when someone uses an existing algorithm to compute longest common subsequence. Let's talk about an exercise. Please do this exercise whenever you can manage some time. What is the edit distance between these two strings? S1 equals banana and S2 is equal to CBNAA. We will discuss more about proximity measures in the upcoming lessons. Meantime, please feel free to send me your answer to the exercise via the comments section below. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell-shaped button to receive notifications when we publish any new video. I will see you next time.